This morning we are going to be leaving Pendleton, Oregon, and we are on our way to Vancouver. <laughs> Crossing the border today is always kind of nerve-wracking, uh, especially right now where you've got to fill out uh, paperwork and send in an application. Uh, we did get our approval back, but you never know until you hit that border uh, what they're gonna do. Jesse is getting us all filled up for our next leg of this trip. Uh, we have gone almost 600 miles and gas mileage he is getting around 15. Correct? What was that, hun? 600 miles and you are pushing 15? 15.3. It's It was really hot and windy yesterday, so and we were going a little bit faster, so burn a little bit more. <laughs> so that's where we are. Uh, usually with Goldie, we are nine, 10. Yeah, we probably would have been less than that yesterday, so. Yes, uh, luckily not a lot of hills for us, which is good, uh, but yeah, the hot weather, the wind uh, is a bearing for us. So uh, we'll see what this next leg brings us, but yeah, so far the mileage has been quite good. Looks like dad is getting his auxiliary tank filled up. What kind of mileage you've been getting, dad? I'm looking. <laughs> it's stinky. 9.8. Woo! That's good. That's good? That's good for us pulling this. This mammoth. How much how much extra do you can you put in your auxiliary tank? 35 gallons. I only got 17 that shut me off. That'll redo it. Shut you off at a hundred bucks. So I got a half a tank. You got half a tank. how much you plan or schedule your day so you're not in rush hour traffic there's always an instance where you're stuck in traffic whether it's construction accidents just whatever we're coming well we didn't are going through Seattle we're skirting around the belt route outside but we've been fighting traffic for the last little bit here and their roads are rough kind of glad we have the off-road suspension on the bean just for these roads I mean come on yes roads today have not been good <laughs> they have been quite rough 40 miles from the border and we had to stop at Dwayne Lane Chevrolet sucks to be me right now we didn't have to stop because we broke down I noticed that our fuel filter life dropped down to 9% uh, I don't know if it's ever been changed, so thought before we head into Canada and all that stuff and end up going too far, might as well just stop now, get it changed before something happens, and then, you know, kind of preventative a little bit. I wish I would have noticed back last week before we left, but we didn't leave until Sunday, I think, so we kind of didn't have a way to get it changed on Sunday. Just one of those things. At least they jumped it up and got it going a little bit quicker for us, so... Hopefully we're out of here pretty soon and we can get across the border. A little longer than a few minutes later. We've got our fuel filter switched out. We've got peace of mind that we'll be set for the rest of the trip. And Jesse is just getting us tied back on. We are we made it to the border <laughs> and we are 
just about to go through, I guess, customs. Pray that our paperwork all works out. We've done the Arrive Canada stuff, so. Yes. Fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. We've thrown away every, there's no food except Oreos, and I think Oreos are allowed, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Guys, that was super easy. As long as you don't have guns, firearms, uh, liquor, and typically fruits and vegetables, but he didn't ask us that one. So, um, what else? Occupation. Yeah. Maybe that's to kind of trigger something that they're looking for. I don't know, but yeah, arrive can work perfectly. Sorry, camera decided to shut down, but as I was saying, yes, border crossing went super smooth. Um, our Rive Can paperwork came through great as well. We mentioned that we had the email confirmation and he said, I've already got it. I've already looked you up. You're good to go. Yeah, lucky. I mean, they asked occupation, you know, stuff like that. Make sure no firearms, which... I mean, if you're coming into Canada, you should already know that you aren't bringing your guns. Yeah. Which... And he asked us twice, and he said, are you sure? Yeah. Because if you lie, you're screwed. Now, we are on our way to Kara's Cousins to driveway surf for the night. We're about an hour behind schedule, but... So oh, well. It's it how things go, you know? And we just got a text from Kara's mom. The roads were horrible, and I guess a giant piece of their trim above their kitchen table fell off. Yeah, uh, it would be like this slide trim molding that goes all the way across. It's a giant piece. Yeah, I guess it fell off. So they've been at Home Depot trying to find parts. And of course, it's when we're not with them. Right. Yes. I, I mean, what do you, I, we feel bad that we're not with them to help them, but I mean, who knew? So I guess if they don't get it fixed today, I can help them fix it tomorrow. <laughs> uh, just sucks. The roads were awful through Washington. I mean, just terrible. Like, like bumpy, wavy, uh, and then potholes. potholes. Yeah, they were just bad. Even for us, you know. My goodness. It was just bouncing back there. I mean, if we had a camera on it, I'm sure there was air <laughs> under the tires, a lot. We'll try to show you what it's like as we drive away surf as well. No promises, because, you know, when there's family around, all that sort of stuff, we don't like to film during that time anyway, so if you don't see it, oh well. Just know that it happened. Yeah, just know that it happened. We don't want, you know, to be those weird people filming when... Way intrusive. Yeah, way intrusive, so comment below. Uh, what have you had fall off from your RV shaking down the road? Or have you ever forgot to put your gas cap back on your extra tank? Because <laughs> Kara's dad had that happen today too. Yep, that happened today too. It has been a day for them. So I don't know if he's going to be able to get another gas cap for that, um, for that uh, extra tank. I hope he can, because I don't know what he's going to do if he can't. Ugh. The fun of RVing, right? <laughs> Early the next morning. We are back at it again. We are on our way to Harrison Hot Springs up in BC. Uh, we spent the night with my cousin, her husband, had a very nice evening. Uh, they made Jesse play cards. I, I don't like playing cards. It was a fun game. It was good. Yeah. What was it called? Wizard? Wizard. Wizard. Yeah. It was alright. It was good. It was good. We're trying to make our way. We're kind of taking the back roads. And it's beautiful. It's one great thing about going RV is you can take the back roads and see some of this beautiful country. Just huge rivers and lakes and pine trees and yeah it's pretty amazing it's not the desert we're used to not only that is they there are fruit stands all over and wineries and, and yeah all that 
Yes, very different than what we see in Utah. <laughs> Here we are. We made it to Harrison Hot Springs. And it is hot. Boy, is it hot. <laughs> I'm thinking we should have second uh, thought the uh, AC on the beam. Uh, last night we even slept with the doors open, uh, trains going by, roosters crowing this morning, uh, but I didn't really care because I was comfortable and cool. <laughs> so we are going to enjoy this area for a few more days. So we are going to be a little bit radio silence for a few days, just catching up with the family and being with them. Um, yeah, we're going to end it here and we'll catch up with you later. Remember to like and subscribe. Click that bell. Uh, like, not like. It all works the same. And as always, enjoy your weekend.